Let's take a live look now as CMS board members continue to discuss how they're going to reopen this fall. Gibby Harris says she wants rapid testing available if CMS does open up school. Mecklenburg County doesn't actually have access to that right now, but Harris has said she pushed the CDC director to get that when he was here in town. Now, while the governor recommended, of course, plan B, we told you all about that yesterday, part remote learning, part in person. The district can choose its own plan. It could decide to make everything virtual. That is an option. That has a lot of people, though, wondering what any decision will mean for high school sports. Is it going to happen? What will it look like if it does? Our sports anchor, Matt Harris, spent the day looking into some of the concerns in North and South Carolina. Right now, there's more of a concrete plan for fall sports in South Carolina. Coaches in North Carolina I've spoken with have more questions than answers, and there's a lot of concern. If we are allowed to play sports by the Athletic Association, um, are they going to be allowed to play since they're virtual? Um, just a lot, of, a lot of questions. Questions and concerns is how Lake Norman head football coach Jonathan Oliphant characterized practice this morning. Under North Carolina's Plan B, Iredell Statesville schools decided high school students will have all virtual classes with the exception of certain electives like band. It's concerning because you're going to have a lot of districts doing a lot of different things and then how do you logistically plan for that? As the North Carolina High School Athletic Association Board of Directors continues to develop specific plans, they announced a delay to the start of the fall sports season until September 1st. In South Carolina, the start of fall sports practices has been pushed back to August 17th. Let's talk in terms of football, but that's the one that's most challenging. High School League Commissioner Jerome Singleton announced this tentative plan for football in the fall. Practices starting on August 17th. The first game played on September 11th. Teams would play a seven-week season with playoffs beginning October 30th. The state championships will be played November 20th, two weeks ahead of normal. So we've got that two week window as a buffer. In addition to if something with the virus causes us to shut down. In North Carolina, Coach Oliphant, like others, wants what's best for their kids and says the lack of a plan for fall sports is what's most concerning right now. As a leader, you've got to make tough calls and you've got to understand you're not going to make everybody happy. In Charlotte, I'm Matt Harris.